so now, now I have here uh, a blink solution and I will create our first project add new project uh, workflow I will use C sharp and I will call it it's a um, sequential work uh, no it, uh, yeah it's a sequential workflow library and I will call it WF library lesson one okay and then it creates our workflow now I will show you how to use the call external method in the handle external events activity we have them both here in the in the toolbox they are here in Windows workflow version 3.0 so here we are handle external event I will drag it to our workflow and as we note here we have this error, error what does it say it says that I don't have uh, an interface type set so so what we have to do to use the handle external event we must create an interface that defines which event the workflow will handle so uh, here we create our contract to do it I'll go to the solution explorer and I will add another another file I will add an interface okay so I will call it E WF serves I will add and it's an interface okay so now I will define my events and I will have just one event so I create event event handler and now I can specify which args I wanna pass so before I continue I will define I will create a class that will represent my args so I will create here public um, demo public class demo lesson one args okay and it will inherit the external date event args I don't have it here so I click with the right button resolve using system workflow activities so when you when you create a customized arg you must inher inherit from this from this class okay and I will define here uh, public inch valor just to show you and I must have a constructor demo event demo lesson one event args and it receives int valor and must receive uh, I, the ID the ID of the workflow and we will pass this ID to our mother class base class so this dot value so I call it value value equals value okay value 
so now I can create my event. I will use my demo, demo, demo last one args, and I will call it WF event. Okay, so here I define it uh, event, and I must say I must say that this interface is a workflow interface so I must use this attribute external data exchange okay I will save it here compile just just check failed okay the error is in my workflow so now I have my interface created and I will here in this work in the workflow I will browse for it I'm going to the properties window again and now in the event name I can search for WF event and I, can, I could also create a bind to my parameter so now I define a protocol between the okay just one thing I forgot I must create, I must define as serializable when I create uh, the args. So, okay. So now I created the communication channel between the workflow, when between the ASP.NET application and the workflow. Now I want to define that I, the workflow will call a method in the ASP.NET application and how I do it. Well, to, do, to call the method, I will use call external method and it says I also don't have an interface type uh, so I will, I will browse for my interface type press ok but in method, na method name I don't have none so that's what I'm gonna do I will define a method here public um, redirect and let's assume we are creating a page flow solution I will pass my address. So now I created a method here in the in my contract. And here I came I come ag again to my call external method and I have my method redirect. And I can specify which at which page I wanna call default point dot species. So that's how we define a uh, communication layer, communication channel between the ASP.NET and the workflow. I will compile this check and if everything OK. Uh, if you want to understand more about Workflow Foundation and introduction to Workflow Foundation, you can ask, access this lesson at Mr. Boo. So thank you. Um, this was just the first lesson. In the following lessons, we will develop our uh, page flow solution. In in the end, we will make the solution avail available for you to download. Thank you, and see you in the next lesson. Then we will create custom activities to Windows Workflow Foundation. See you. Bye.